Lindsay, and you're watching Born Again Nerd. That's, I'm hoping that I know I've been uh, absent for a few weeks. I, I'm so apologize. I uh, it's it snowed uh, yesterday. We had a snowstorm, and I had to re I had to move all my stuff back into this little room. So that's where I'm at. I'm back inside my studio now, and uh, I know my last video I talked about the Retro Pocket too, and I had just gotten it at that point. So I've had a few weeks with it, and uh, so this is my part two. For Retro Pocket 2. For those that are still haven't, haven't decided yet if they want to order one yet or not, maybe this video might be inspiring. You don't know. Um, but um, my thoughts of this handheld. Uh, uh, gosh, I'm going to be honest, guys. It's really, really hard. It's really hard to put a marker on this thing. I. I mean, I, I still haven't yet did a, a No Droid Go yet advance. A review yet I'm working on it I'm working on a lot of stuff actually right now currently so what do I think about this thing well okay um, I, I, will, I will go through some of the stuff that I, I'm having issues with so one of the issues with is that mouse mode thing I don't like the mouse mode thing this is where uh, you hold down the home key and you get this cursor that comes out and um, there it is so that to me it is just a pain in the freaking ass when you're trying to uh, get to your games. So I did try some like Android apps like uh, Candy Crush and stuff like that. I mean they do work, but um, it's a little awkward because you don't have a touch screen. So the retro apps is probably the only thing that's solid on this handheld so far. Uh, in my perspective right now, that's the only thing that's easy to go to and actually play games off of. You don't have to worry about anything. But if you want to do any other stuff, um, you have to do some tinkering. Uh, here, let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Because I, I think people are just... Even for me, I... I I have watched so many people review this handheld, and not one single reviewer really got to dive in and show you what it takes to get a game up and running. I don't, I haven't seen it, so um, I'm just going to kind of go in. Classic Boy is probably going to be one of the apps I would recommend getting. Uh, Classic Boy, you guys can see that, right? Okay. Oh, well, it's a paid app. Buy it. Uh, I think it's like two or three dollars. I don't, I don't know. It'll play everything up to, uh, well, it'll play everything up to like maybe GBA. It'll do okay. GBC, GB, say, uh, Neo Geo and SNES. It'll do those things fine. But I do have some issues with it with N64. And PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1 is the hardest for me right now currently. Um, and I'll read, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So PlayStation 1 does not play very well on this plat on, on the Classic Boy. Um, I cannot get it to, to run, but just for the heck of it, uh, there's one game that I've been trying to work with called uh, Bloody War 2. Everybody's, uh, I'm assuming people know what that is by now. I'll go ahead and resume it. And I'll have you kind of... Now, see, that looks normal, right? That, like, oh, what are you talking about, Shay? It's looking fine. What are you talking about? That looks fine. That looks totally fine. Well, yeah, well, let me, uh, let me enlighten you that it's not okay. Um, first things first, though, uh, right off the bat, mouse mode's on. So when mouse mode is on, you can't, you can't push start and start the game. It paused it, but it didn't really do anything. So you can't really do anything because uh, mouse mode is on, right? So I'm gonna first thing I want to do is I'm gonna turn off that overlay because that thing is really bothering me. So I'm gonna hit the B button since my mouse mode is on. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna select that. Go to hide overlay, and then that's. And then I gotta hide my mouse. So I gotta hold down three seconds. One, two, three. Mouse is gone. Hit the start button. And can, can you guys see that? Am I work? Am I actually playing? Oh yeah, so it is playing, and it's really bad. See how choppy that is. So let me give you another um, example here. 
All right, so I don't know if you guys can see how the, the frame rates on that is just so bad. This is off the Classic Boy app. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna just get off of it because it's, it's not working. All right, so I did download. I'm probably gonna have multiple videos, guys, because I can't just cover this unit in one one setting or one video. It's just not gonna happen. I, I only have 15 minutes, so I'm not, it's gonna be quick. This is basically where I'm at right now with this handheld. I can't I can't get PlayStation One to work too great. Um, I did download uh, a, a thing called... Let me see if I find it here. I might have passed it already. Jeez, I can't even see the screen. Oh, yeah, okay. So that's this one over here. So this this uh, controller over here is the one I want. So I don't know. It's not going to focus, so... So this right here... If you can pause the video and make note of that emulator, I don't... It's called uh, EPX, or sorry, EPSXE. Oh, it's some kind of long, weird. All right, so I'm gonna open that up. <sighs> Same thing. It's gonna, you know, ask me if I wanna, I wanna go to GUI because I wanna show you guys what I'm talking about here. Okay, so when you first get this app, all right, you have to buy it. It's like five bucks. You've got to go to the uh, preferences section. You have to go down to the input preferences, okay? And you need to make sure that player one is set to PlayStation 3. That took me forever to figure that out, and I'm dead serious. See, it's all, it looks weird. See how those numbers and shit? It looked weird, but make sure you, that's, that's what you want, okay? Then you don't have to do anything else after that because it's already configured. But make sure you you select that PlayStation Three is there, and you're you're on you're not you're on analog, not digital. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So there's other tweaks you can do. Like uh, you can go to the video preferences and you can set your rendering and your filtering and all that garbage. Okay, I mean you can do all that if you want to. Um, but I have not found anything that makes Bloody Roar 2 run any better. Is there's the there's the FPS right up there, okay? So you can kind of see where it's where it's at. And it, all the buttons should be pre-configured. I don't have to do anything weird. At least I don't think I do. I think mouse mode is still activated, so I can't yeah, I can't hit anything. So I gotta turn my mouse off. That is such a pain in the freaking ass. Uh, is that that stupid mouse mode? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Okay, one, two, three. All right, so that's why I count one, two, three, and then let's see if this is any better. Now, this is a paid app. Remember that. Remember, I paid for this app to run this game. Okay? Now it's on demonstration. I don't want it on demonstration. So, this is the stuff I'm running into. It won't let me select my. It won't let me select my controller. Oh, here we go. Now it's finally doing it. Jeez, God. What the hell? <sighs> okay. Alright, let's see how it plays, guys. Alright, so take, pay attention to that frame skip counter up there. I do have frame on skip on auto. And this is the best I can get Bloody War to run on Android. It is terrible. This is just terrible. Seriously, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I'm just gonna do this game. Uh, I don't need it. I don't think I need to talk about anything else except for the just what I'm, 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 what I'm going through right now, currently. I, if I want to play this game, so is it, you, I, I spent hours, guys. I spent hours tweaking the videos, I, uh, video settings, the buffer, the making sure the bios are there. I can't get this thing to run at 60 frames per second. It's just not doing it, even with the paid app. Okay, all right. So you guys see that, right? I and if you do have a suggestion, put it in the comments below. I might not know exactly what I'm doing. Maybe maybe there's a setting somewhere I didn't realize and I skipped it accidentally. That's what you get. Now I I have tried RetroArch. It, it's I downloaded a core off there. Nope, no go. It it doesn't work. So my best bet is the Retroid app. 
to play Bloody Roars, and I'll show, I'll show off it, you know, why not? Um, and that'll be my closing for this, uh, for this part tour. Because my, my, my thoughts on this, on this unit, I haven't really decided if I like this unit or not because of the fact that I'm running into issues. Uh, I can't get all my games to work on it. It's underpowered. It has that mouse mode thing that, that you have to constantly turn on and off. I have button squeaking issues. Yeah, my A and B and my uh, Y, all of them, they squeak when you press down on it and it's very annoying. So there we go. There's there's uh, Bloody War 2 and I'm going to load it and then it'll be in like night and day. Like it'll run beautifully. There's not going to be any issues at all. So that's, <laughs> that's why I don't understand why it's uh, giving me weirdness. Alright, so, here we go. So, anyway, um, that's what's going on in my world, guys. I am still fiddling with this Retro Pocket 2. Uh, do I recommend it? I don't know. I really honestly don't know if I recommend this unit to people right now. If you're on the fence, don't buy it. But if you like what you see and you want to see more, uh, hit me up on a comment below and let me know. See, I'm running Bloody Roar now. And this is running at- this seems like it's running at full speed. This is using, what, the Pandora box thing, so... So, no issues. It's, it's playing- playing really good. I'm not having any glitching or- so, I can play my Bloody War to here. And that's fine. Okay, if this this works for me, and I'm I'm happy to do it this way. That's fine, but it almost makes the Android side almost obsolete. Like I don't even. What's what's the purpose of that, really? <laughs> so let me show you guys something here. It's just kind of weird. I'm just trying to push play. You know how it's it's. There we go. Okay, start start. A little slower than I'm used to. I will admit that because it's Android. Career mode. I actually just want to do a single session. Okay. Alright, we'll just do Tony Hawk. No big deal, right? Okay. So here here's the here's my uh here's my issues I'm having here. I can't jump. I can steer, but I can't jump. Nothing works. No jumping. No jumping. I downloaded this off the, off the marketplace. I cannot jump. I cannot jump. At all. Where's the jump? What the heck? I can't jump. So, anyway. Uh, I hope this, uh, this video helps. I, I, as I'm sitting right now, guys, I have to be dazzled, and I am not dazzled by this handheld. I'm just not. There's so many things don't work. I mean, uh, yeah, you can get a game from the marketplace, just like I showed you, Tony Hawk. I wanted to play Tony Hawk, and um, I can't because the buttons are not right. And I don't think I can remap them on, the, on Pandora. I don't think I can remap. If I can! Put a comment down below. I, I honestly can't. I don't know if I can recommend this unit to people right now. Especially with with the the operating system that it's on. And I just don't know, guys. I, I think if you're on the fence, I would wait a little bit. The wait time and shipping time is anywhere from five to six weeks. So anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and I'm sorry it's taken me a, a bit of time, but this is where I'm at with the video. I'm working on some new intros for the channel, new content on the way. I'm getting a track list mapped out. I'm just it's just an update video of where I'm at with a pocket too. I can't get it to PlayStation One to work. So if you have any suggestions, comments, thumbs up, want more info, have ideas dislike my video, don't like my face, hate my voice, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. Anyway, thanks guys, and I am out of here.